Hello, my besties! Have you ever wondered what to do with these decorative gift boxes from the Dollar Tree? I have a budget-friendly idea for you. Stay tuned! Dollar Tree has so many cute designs for every holiday. They make adorable centerpieces and also inexpensive gift ideas. I made them for Christmas and now we're gonna make one for fall. So pick up your favorite box. I really like the colors here. And you can even find a coordinating sign if you like coordinating pigs. Dollar Tree got everything for you there. <laughs> they really up their game with the pumpkin pigs. You can even find velvet pumpkins, flowers, leaves, and greenery. And sometimes you can get more for your money at other stores like Walmart, for example. Also, you're gonna need a little bit of coordinating ribbon and some floral sponge. I start off by adding some newspapers at the bottom and then a foam on top. Why waste so much foam, right? So you're gonna press it down and cut the foam to size, pull out those handles, we're not gonna need them, and then glue the foam in. Cut apart your leaves and flowers and we're gonna start gluing them in. Let's see how much we're gonna need. And we add one in one corner to the front and another one in the opposite corner to the back. And we're gonna add more, but first I want to add my sign in because I know that will take up a lot of real estate and then we're gonna add our leaves and flowers around the sign. But first let me cut apart these flowers because I need the flower stem like a little stake to attach our sign to. Something like this. So we are going to use some hot glue in the front and in the back. A lot of glue there, let's cover it with the band-aid piece of ribbon. <laughs> and just like that, you got a cute little steak. And actually Dollar Tree sells the steaks like that too. If you can find a coordinating one with your bag, that's even better, easier for you, right? Let me just cover that. A piece of stem in the front. I use a leaf to do that. All right, so cute. Let's add it in and place it in the back so you have more room up front for your other decor pieces. All right, let's make a bow now and it cannot be too big. Four inches, pinch, eight inches, pinch and fold in half. That's a four inch loop. I think that's uh, just uh, enough for the size of the arrangement. And make one more and cut about four inch tail. Just a simple two loop, two tail bow. We are going to tie it with a pipe cleaner, floral wire, whatever you might have. Fold in half, cut diagonally towards the wired edge, make nice fishtails. Cute little bow, just like that. If you have one more ribbon, you can make another cute accent for the top. Measure three inches, uh, then seven inches, fold in half. That's a three and a half inch loop and also a three inch tail. Tie that on top of your first bow and fluff it up. You got a cute little burlap accent on top. And now you can add your bow either at the bottom or actually at the top of your pumpkin. You have a hole there. It's real easy and look how cute. Especially that the ribbon coordinates so well with the sides of that bag. Just tie it back there and reinforce it with some hot glue. just fix up that bow. If the tails cover a little bit too much of your sign, you can trim them. Also, you can glue them to the sides so they stay in place and, you know, just, just fix it. <laughs> This is what we got. 
and now we just have to fill it in all around there. Okay, my next biggest piece is this pumpkin. Look how adorable, I love these. I think this is a good spot. Let's add some greenery, it's a green box. We're gonna use boxwood, it has that nice uh, green blue tone. Uh, we're cutting it apart and some pieces you can cut even in half. So you have um, larger and smaller pieces for the front. That's what you need. Let's add one here. Another one by the pumpkin. A larger one in the back. And even though you're adding to the back, they will be still visible from the front. So very important to add things back there as well. You see, adds more dimension to your arrangement. It's not so flat one-sided. And I actually want to add even more height back there. So I'm going to cut even <laughs> are great because you get a pine cone and some berries and just a lot of interest with one little pig so that does all the job for you already don't be afraid to bend <laughs> touch ever look at that and just to show you just because it's marked summer and it's on clearance doesn't mean that you cannot use it with your fall designs or any other time of the year right if you agree please give me those little blueberry emojis <laughs> just adding a couple more longer stem in the back so it's more visible to the front See how cute. As usual, step back, see what else you can fill in. I need more greenery in the back. I ran out of boxwood, but this Dollar Tree stem is just the perfect match. So I'm gonna add one more there. If you still see a little bit foam peeking through, go ahead, add some. out 
uh, compared to the green pumpkins. So the solution is to add that white pumpkin pig. <laughs> and right there you get a perfect balance of whites and creams and everything else in between. <laughs> And just like that, you can create a beautiful, inexpensive centerpiece for Thanksgiving, also a perfect hostess gift. This is it for today. Thank you so much for watching my besties. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more creative ideas on the budget. Take care. Bye bye.